In this lesson we will create a compression spring using the swept boss feature. Let's first take a look at the finished spring. Notice that it has three different parts, the two compressed sections and the single uncompressed section. The general process of creating a spring is to sketch a profile and the curve which will form the path for the profile. Let's begin by creating a new part. Go to Options and make sure you are working in ANSI and in Millimeters. Start a sketch on the top plane and draw a circle with a diameter of 12.7 millimeters. Click OK and exit the sketch. Switch to Isometric View and under Features, Curves, select Helix and Spiral. Click on the circle we've just created. Under Defined By, select Height and Pitch. Set the height to 50.8 mm, the pitch to 5.08 mm, 0 as the start angle and clockwise rotation. Click OK to create the helix. Start a new sketch on the top plane. We want to create a circle equal and directly above the initial one. Instead of actually creating a new circle, we can use the Convert Entities tool to copy something that already exists. Click on Convert Entities and click the first sketch from the Feature Manager. The contour is now projected on the sketch plane and is part of our sketch. Click Exit Sketch. In order to create the bottom compression part, select Sketch 2 and use Helix and Spiral once again. This time we'll set the defined by to Pitch and Revolution. Set the pitch to 2.54 mm, the number of revolutions to 2, 0 as the start angle and counterclockwise rotation. Also check the reverse direction box. And click OK. To create the top part, we need the plane to sketch on. Click Reference Geometry and select Plane. We need to insert some references in order to create it. We need the plane to be on the top of our helix, so we will select the top end point. We also need to define its orientation, so select top plane from the feature manager and make it parallel. Click OK and now you have a reference plane at the top of the spiral. Using Convert Entities, we'll duplicate the circle like we did on the bottom. Right click on plane 1 and start a new sketch. Click Convert Entities and select Sketch 2 from the Feature Manager. Then click OK and exit the sketch. Next, select Sketch 3 from the Feature Manager and create a new helix and spiral, defined by Pitch and Revolution. Set the pitch to 2.54 mm, uncheck Reverse Direction, put two revolutions with 0 degrees as the start angle, and select Clockwise. Click OK to accept the feature and then hide the plane. Right-click on it and select the Hide icon. To join all the three curves together, go to Curves, Composite Curve, select Helix Spiral 1, 2 and 3 and then click OK. We're almost finished with the compression spring. We just have to create a profile that will follow this curve. To do so, create the new reference plane and select the bottom end point and the composite curve as your references. The plane is now normal to the end point. Open up a new sketch on plane 2 and draw a circle centered at the end point with a diameter of 2.4 mm. To make sure the circle is in the correct location, Add a Pierce relation between the center of the circle and the curve. Now exit the sketch and hide the second plane. Then go to the Features tab and select Swept Boss Base. Click the circle and the curve as the profile and path respectively and accept the feature. The compression spring is now complete.